So we've got little Scout here today. She's a three and a half year old French Bulldog and she's got a really rare big tumour in her abdomen that is called a biliary cyst adenocarcinoma. And today uh, we're trying to do our procedure called TACE, so trans arterial chemo embolization, or maybe just embolization. Um, and what Dr. Benz is doing is taking out, this is all this fluid in her belly, she's really swollen, and it's like bile type of um, um, consistency, like mucus. So this is making her feel really uncomfortable, like a big pregnant lady. And, um, and once we've done that and take some pressure off her abdomen, we're going to uh, access her femoral artery in the groin. And then all the work will be done through the groin, through the arteries, under fluoroscopy that you'll see on the screen. And we're very lucky today because we've got Robin here, who's David Benz's sister, and she's also a specialist in interventional radiology. So I'm just going to stand back. <laughs> So what we're doing now is we've got a little microcatheter, which is a tiny microcatheter in within the um, this here, which is the bigger catheter. And so David's driving the small little tiny wire by using the map on the right screen to see which artery he's trying to get into. And so the ultimate aim is to get into the artery that's feeding the big tumour, and then we'll deliver some. Um, embolic agent, which means we'll try and embolize or stop blood flow, mm -hmm. either um, just to slow it down or stop it depending on um, how, where we think it's going. So once we get into that area, we'll inject more contrast, see where it's going and make a decision. Okay, so we're in a good spot now, in a safe spot to target this tumour and embolize some of the blood vessels. Um, to embolize, or there are different embolic agents, let's say it that way. What we're going to use today are, and what we mostly use actually for um, tumor treatments, uh, is our so-called spheres, so small tiny plastic particles, which are calibrated. The ones we're using today, they are actually um, 75 micrometer, so tiny, tiny particles and it gives this fluid just this milky aspect so there's actually clear fluid in there but the white particles make it look milky and that's what we're going to slowly and gently inject into the bloodstream of the tumor and that's going to block off the tumor vessels and with this hopefully then the tumor is going to shrink because it doesn't get uh, oxygen no blood no oxygen and with this it can't survive so these parts hopefully going to die subsequently so this is the, um, the content in the abdomen, it's all thick and yeah. like mucus, that's the tumours um, oh, right. making happen in the abdomen. So just under the, on the spine there, which is the longitudinal blocks, there's a little black squiggle there, yeah, right where Robin's pointing, yep. that's the coil, so they've just deployed a little co coil right down through there and that'll create a little um, blood clot in that vessel to stop. Um, the treatment going down the wrong vessel. So we just finished the procedure and um, Karina just removed our axis in the groin which goes through a tiny tiny hole in the skin and what we're doing now, what Karina does, she compresses the artery which we access to prevent bleeding and works in most of the cases and um, yeah that's about it. The treatment was as expected very challenging and difficult we got to treat one area of the tumor and um, we hope that helps the dog to improve a little bit in symptoms you can see his tumor there you see yeah. that that's his tumor so you expect now that some of it would die off like, as a result exactly of that. that's hopefully the goal and that hopefully with this part which dies off Hopefully this gives him a, you know, a, a few more weeks or even months, uh, if very lucky. Um, but it's a very late stage where we're doing this treatment, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, hopefully we have good success in other dogs with uh, huge surprises in regards of good outcome.